In this video, I'll show you how to set up a refreshable connection to your on-premises data using the Power BI Personal Gateway. Previously, you could only connect and refresh from cloud data sources, but now with a Personal Gateway, you can connect to on-premises sources as well. I'm actually going to use a really simple CSV file as an example here. This is a file that just exists on my desktop, and I'm going to set up refresh from this into the Power BI service. I've already created a Power BI desktop file that extracts the data out of that CSV and build some simple visualizations on top of it. I've also already uploaded this to the Power BI service, and I've built this data set, report, and dashboard from it. Now, if I want to start refreshing this data, I come to the data set and choose to schedule a refresh. You'll see I get guided through the steps that I need to set up the personal gateway. Firstly, I need to go and install it. So I'll click here, and it will start downloading. Currently, we only support 64-bit machines. And it does need to be installed on a machine that's turned on when the refresh happens. And this is a totally self-service application. You don't need to be an administrator on your machine. All you need to do is download it and you can get started straight away. I'll go through the wizard and I'll even get some warnings telling me that, hey, you're uh, installing this on a laptop computer. So if it's turned off or not connected, then the refresh won't work. And if you're over a wireless network, then maybe it'll be a little bit slow. I'm going to ignore those for now. I'll accept the license agreement, and I get to choose a directory where the gateway will be installed. Once it's installed, I'll need to configure some settings to get the gateway connected to Power BI. Firstly, I need to sign into Power BI. So just put in the same credentials that you use to log into the Power BI service here. I enter my Windows account here. and I get a notification that the gateway is up and running. I even get a little uh, pop-up down in the bottom to tell me that everything's started, and I can see it in the tray down here. And if I need to come back and update the password at any point, that's where I can do that as well. Back up in the service, you can see that I'm through a few more of these steps. I can see that the gateway's online, and now I can start managing the data sources that I want to refresh. And I've got a connection to the file that I want to refresh here. I can see that the credentials that I'll need to use to access this file are my Windows credentials. So I'll sign into this. If I was connecting to a SQL Server database or a Teradata warehouse, I'd use the credentials that I would normally use to log into those. And if I had multiple data sources in this data set, I'd see them all appear here, and I could enter different credentials for each one. There are two ways that we can actually get the data to refresh. I can either do it manually, or I can schedule it. Let's do it manually to start with. You can see that my data runs up to Q3, but I'm actually going to go and update that by updating the CSV file and just pasting in some more data. You can see now that I've got Q4 data in here as well. I'll save this file. And now if I go back to my dashboard, all I need to do is click on the data set and choose to refresh now. I'll get an indicator that it's loading. And after a few seconds, you'll see the data updates automatically. I can also schedule the refresh for this. And I can see under the schedule refresh, if I turn this on, I can choose to refresh either daily or weekly, and I can control the times at which this refresh happens. I can add up to six different times if I want to. I'll also get a notification if the refresh ever fails. That'll get emailed to me so I can go and check if anything's gone wrong. And that's all I need to do. It's really simple to install the Power BI Personal Gateway and set up a refresh back to your on-premises data sources, such as CSV files, SQL Server, or Teradata. Thanks very much for watching.